Well, this seems like the right time to review a Corvette, right? Uh, according to GM, it is. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Charlie from Daily Motor. I'm here with Nathan. And this C8 Corvette in its base form with all-season tires. Now, we knew that there was a Corvette in the fleet with winter tires, and we reached out to GM and we said, hey, we'd love to take it up to scenic, beautiful Northern Michigan and see what the Corvette's capable of on some winter rubber. And they came back to us and they said, you know what? We are so confident in our Michelin Pilot Sport all-season tires that come standard on the car, we'd like you to try that. And we said, are, are you sure? I mean, you realize we're going, like, we're going to find some serious snow. And they said, yeah, go for it. So we took them up and it's actually not been yeah, too bad. <laughs> I was expecting a lot worse. Yes. It's certainly not confident. Maybe that's not the right word. It's not chuckable. It's not, uh, it's not confidence inspiring, but it can do it. I'd give it a solid five out of 10. It feels like a rear wheel drive car with all season tires. And they're, they're pretty decent all season tires. And to be fair, there isn't anything we haven't been able to do yet. Yeah, we've, it hasn't been defeated yet. No, we've gotten up all the roads we've needed. We've gotten around. You, you need to be careful. But if you drive responsibly, you can actually have a little bit of fun and most importantly, traverse Mother Nature in a C8 Corvette. Not only that, but this one is a convertible. That's right. This is not... This is not the target top. This is an actual convertible C8 Corvette. And this has been good for the road trip because you can have the top up, or sorry, the top down, and not lose any storage space. You can see back here, we've still got our whole trunk. And I actually appreciate that Chevy includes this net, it allows you to put bags or something in there. So you could still fit an ice scraper or a full golf bag right in there. I think two golf bags, technically. I don't know. And, in the front, you still have your frunk. So we've got some recovery gear in there. Should we get stuck? Knock on fiberglass. <laughs> so let's head out, do a little driving in the C8 Corvette in the winter. This is a 2LT package, right in between the base 1LT and the top 3LT. We've got heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, we've got some heat blowing on us, and uh, let's just do a little bit of the driving with the top down. So you can see, even in this unplowed snow, we drive right off. Now as may, some of you who have seen my previous videos on this car, I actually was able to enjoy it in the rain and I've driven a Z51 C8 quite a bit. But I found the non-Z51, the standard car, to be most fun in the rain because in the dry, you can't slide it around. It just understeers too much with these all-season tires. But GM did such a great job with the chassis in this car and the controllability, the steering, transmission, everything, that in the snow, you can kind of slide it out with just a little put input of throttle, and then when you're ready to come back in, release the throttle, and right back it goes. We do have the tires deflated a little bit. We're at 26 PSI in general. One of those is at 27, but kind of depends. The convertible is not the most windproof convertible. It's certainly no Lexus LC where it feels like you're in a vacuum. There's just no wind coming in, but it hasn't been bad. Yeah. It's going to get a little loud with the headphones as we get up to speed here, so we'll put them away soon. But in terms of warmth, certainly yeah. able to get away with it. Yeah. I'm not even wearing a hat or gloves right now. I've got my heated steering wheel. And the heat's not all the way up. No, it's not. Now, I have to ask, does it feel more fun with a supercar like this in the snow because you can always push it to its limits like that right there? 
I, I think if it had winter tires, my answer would be yes. The problem is, is braking. There's oh. only so much you can do. It doesn't matter what, whether you got rear wheel drive, front wheel drive, all wheel drive, any of that, what layout your engine is, anything. When, when you're on a fully snowy road, there's only so much you can do with braking. And because this is mid-engine, it does have a tendency to come around one way or the other. It seems to want to go to the right. When you slam on the brakes, the rear end kind of comes around on you. you got to counter steer for it. But I, I will say it, it is almost more fun when you are in a controllable environment, when it's a wide road or a parking lot or something, yes, to be able to kind of toss it around at slow speeds. Your limits are so much more approachable. The simplicity that I've picked up is it will definitely do it with these tires. Yes. And they completely exceeded our expectations. Yes. But if you want to do this regularly and have more fun, snow tires. Yes. That is that is the summary of the video right there. Let's put the top up 20, let's see if we can do 26 miles per hour. Is it, I need to pull it up, up, right? Yeah. yeah. Stop here, top comes up. And once you get a little section like this, where the road is clear, even though it's wet, I mean, it pulls. There's no slipping there. And the cool thing is, is you do have a weather mode in the vet. So if you turn traction control on, and you're in weather mode and you turn it back into drive. This car will do its darndest to keep you from getting out of sorts. If you mash the gas, it catches itself as best as it can. Obviously, if you go into a full slide, there's nothing you're gonna be able to do. But I think what Chevy wanted to do with these tires is they put all season tires on the base car. They did that so that people could genuinely enjoy their Corvettes all time of the year and not be afraid if they live in a climate that might get some snow that they're going to be completely stuck. I mean, I got stuck in my Boxster on summer tires on a freak snowfall last year and there was nothing I could do about it. I mean, I was not going anywhere. Yeah. But this, if you drove a C8 regularly and you got a light dusting of snow, You'd be fine. You, you gotta be careful, just like any car, but you'd be totally fine. And if you did want to drive it year round in a wintry climate, throw some winter tires on here, you'd be totally good. Yeah. It pulls so hard. <laughs> We're coming up this hill right now in weather mode, traction control on. See the car starting to get out there and it corrects it, but I mean, I'm just getting up no problem. In fact, let's see if we can come to a stop. And then we're just gonna get on the gas super easy, try not to spin it, let the clutch out, and away we go. In fact, you know, start getting on it and it spins, but there are enough electronic aids that you're not gonna get in any big trouble, and if you wanna drive it optimally, you still have to have a good, a good throttle foot. One thing that's kind of funny is for the tire status, it shows my PSI and then right next to it just says cold. <laughs> the tire, I mean, we've been driving this around all day. It's, they're just still cold, which <laughs> makes sense. Other than the snow capabilities, I mean, this is your first time in, in, yeah. in one of these and I just have spent five or six hours just in the last two days. The sports seats do get a tad uncomfortable after a few hours and I'm on the highway. But other than that, it's a perfectly comfortable cabin. Materials, as we've been over before, are excellent and you're agreeing with that. I mean, have you found any fault in the interior? I have not found a single fault in this interior. I've looked for them too. <laughs> there, there's just nothing. Look at that, just the slightest throttle and, and a little counter steer and it's just such a nice little drift. The visibility is, is fine too for this class of vehicle. I haven't, the only time I was looking back that way out my blind spot that I've been a little, been like, eh, I'd like to have a little extra room or a little extra visibility. Also, I really appreciate what General Motors does with their stability control. Right now I've got traction off, but stability control on. And depending on how much throttle you're giving the car, it'll let you hang the rear end out just at a fun angle, just with enough counter steer. And then it is, if you get too out of sorts or if you let off the throttle, it brings it right back in. 
braking is the one part that's, uh, like I said, still a little dicey. So if I slam on the brakes, we're full ABS right now. It, it's coming to a stop, but it's winter driving yeah. 101. You you have to be responsible. You can't just go. And, and that's the difference that would be made if we had winter tires, we'd be able to come to a stop fairly quickly, just like if it were in the rain. It does seem that maybe we stress the traction control out a bit much. We do have a service ESC and service traction control light. So I'm gonna see if it still works. Nope, we have no traction control and no stability control. So, we have GMness. Uh-oh. <laughs> we now no longer have traction control or stability control. Oh, shit. Service ESC, service traction control. You could take it to the Chevy dealer. <laughs> that would actually be pretty funny <laughs> for a video. Hey, uh, can you fix this? But, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but. Now, if this can get up, this, this is impressive, because this is like, slick here and it is walking it up and you know i don't have traction control or esc yeah. because <laughs> i'm a bit surprised that in weather mode it doesn't dampen the power a little bit more i mean it's still it still gets up and goes in weather mode but that's kind of cool in a way yeah. i guess so this is actually a few inches of snow and we are driving right through can even use our front camera oh just kidding we can't is this clear? Is it a road? It must be. Maybe? Yeah, it's a cul-de-sac. I think it is. <laughs> we, could, we could be off-road for all we know. It's going right through. I wonder if this would be a good photo op. Wow, the, the look of the snow coming out of the wheel arches. Uh -huh. It's like a little snow blower. <laughs> huh. Yeah, uh, it would be nice to have the front end lift in case you were going through a little bit of a snow bank, you could pick it up a bit, but <laughs> perfectly doable. I mean, let's see. Can you open the doors while driving? No, you cannot. That's kind of frustrating. What if you yeah. needed a duck and roll? Huh. Oh. Maybe the emergency. Oh, if you use like the physical one. I don't want to get stuck is why I'm not coming to a yeah. full stop. <laughs> it's decently deep. Yeah. So what if I'm just going? Oh, yeah. Huh. Interesting. All right, guess, well. So that's nice, so if you don't, if you accidentally hit it while you're driving the button. Right, that's true. Cool. What a cool experience to be able yeah. to do something like this. It's certainly, like we said, not what you'd want to be necessarily driving every day, especially with these tires, but it is impressive that a car with the immense capability of the C8 Corvette can do snow right out of the factory. Oh yeah. The other thing is being a Corvette, <laughs> Ferrari that's super picky about this stuff. Yeah. It, it doesn't feel t like you're ragging on it that much. Mm -hmm. And it feels like... No, I haven't felt like I'm doing the car a disservice or being yeah. mean to it by putting it through. It, feel, it feels like it's having fun. Like it's up for the challenge. Cool. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Nathan for coming along and helping us. Not that it's all too much trouble to ask you to <laughs> ride along in a Corvette, but... No.
I'm not going to go right into the Corvette. What are you talking about? Look at that. It's perfectly caked around the tire. <laughs> There's no clearance. Interesting. And you can see with the engine and the exhaust, it completely melts off the back. Initially, when you go out in the snow, that's all covered, but then it melts off once you get everything warm. You can see it's all beaded up in water here. Cool. Well, we've got a ton of other C8 Corvette coverage. We've got a fuel economy test, sound system test on the Bose audio system, and another full review on the standard car. But we'll see you on the next one. We're Charlie and Nathan from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on. Mm -hmm.